I noticed that this year I've been buying more clothing pieces than any other like fashion categories I guess um, like handbags, shoes, and accessories so I'm going to start off with ready to wear I had to mention this piece as my very first one I still can't believe that I was lucky enough to get this piece I call this the Chanel scuba top because of this material it kind of reminds me of like a scuba material a very stretchy neoprene almost this was part of the Chanel cruise collection that came out at the end of last year and this is something I fell in love with when I saw the runway so that was like back in May or like June or something like that I mean most ready to wear is really up there in pricing but I feel like Chanel is is definitely one of the craziest ones so I wanted to make sure it's something that I'm completely in love with something that I really feel like I need to have in my collection and if I can get a lot of wear out of it that would be an added bonus and this piece definitely ticks off all the boxes for me this to me is a very very Chanel piece without being too shouty if that makes sense and you guys know how much i love a logo in the middle but i prefer something a little bit more subtle especially when it's like a recognizable logo like the chanel cc and even looking at all my chanel pieces i tend to go with like a smaller cc logo so when i saw this piece i knew this was like perfect at first i wasn't totally in love with all these cc's on the side like the shoulders all the way down to the side but i love the overall look how it has the white trim on the neck and the little crystal CC and then the fabric itself. I think it's so unique, it's so different, but very on brand at the same time. And because it is a black piece, it is so easy to style this. I went with size 34, so sometimes it feels really, really tight, but I do like that because I think this piece is supposed to be very form fitting, but it is a little bit on the thicker side. So I don't think this is, you know, like 90 degrees weather, like appropriate. This is more for very early um, summer. Springtime is perfect, but especially like fall and winter so I can't wait to wear this even more in the second half of the year the next piece is a vintage piece you guys might have seen this in my vlogs this is a crop tweed jacket from Versace and I just love this piece so much I really think all of these pieces are very me and again a very easy piece to style because there's so much black in here so all you need is like a black dress black bottoms and you're really good to go and I told you I prefer a subtle flex so just by looking at the jacket, you can't really tell what brand it is until you see the buttons. It's all these gold Medusa buttons, so it's just a touch of branding. And the back is the same like chevron tweed pattern. I just love the silhouette of this jacket. The padded shoulders just make you feel so like powerful and just so like put together. But to balance that all out, it is cropped. So it's just such a short and sweet little jacket that is statement-y, but like not too shouty. The last clothing piece I wanna share with you guys is a little bit different. I do like a little bit of logo, but at the end of the day, like. When we're just talking clothes, I really appreciate clothes that don't need that logo, that branding to shine on its own. And this piece is exactly that. These are the navy pants that I recently got from Hermes. As you can see, it doesn't say Hermes anywhere. It is logo-less and there's no like H's everywhere. It is just a plain navy pants that lets the design speak for itself. It is simple enough, but with a very unique design detail like these two zippers, it's very unexpected and very uncommon as well because you don't really see pants with like two zippers going down. I really feel like these pants are kind of like a forever piece. I mean, first of all, not having any logos or any like crazy pattern does help, but I also think it's a very versatile piece. My first impression of these pants was that, wow, that's a very, very like formal and dressy piece, but I realized this really can be dressed down as well if you just wear a t-shirt with this i think you would look so effortlessly cool as well and i think this piece should be worn very long and flowy so even though i did get them tailored and shortened like the length they are still pretty long so i would still have to wear them with some kind of platforms or heels but i really do like that look you can see the back all these stitchings it's so subtle but like all these little details I think is what really makes the pants amazing and I told you guys my favorite part is that these pants really give you that streamlined look because even though they're pleated pants and kind of high-waisted because the pleats don't start until after the zippers this entire part still makes your stomach like from the side looking flat because my issue with like high-waisted pleated pants is that there's so much fabric bunching up like here like on your stomach area that from the side your stomach looks so much bigger especially if you're wearing like a very 
tight form-fitting top and these pants don't do that so I just love that okay switching gears I do have one fine jewelry piece I want to share with you guys and it is this earring that I have on right now so it's a pear-shaped diamond orbit earring from Anita Co which is Honestly, like one of my favorite, favorite brands when it comes to fine jewelry. Anita Co sometimes feels like Hermes to me when it comes to fine jewelry. Her pieces are all about the design and the quality. And some of them are pretty like recognizable, like the um, safety pin. So it's kind of like a, if you know, you know, kind of brand. And even this ring too. I mean, I'm not sure like who started this design, I guess, but I have seen this quite a bit. But Anita Co was the first one where I saw this kind of big get um diamonds like wrapping around like a coil but honestly i love this earring so much better it's a very different look and like a different vibe from the safety pins i mean the safety pins will always have such a special place in my heart but this one i have been wanting this one for so long and i'm so glad i can add this to my collection so they do have a bigger one where the diamonds are bigger that one was way too overwhelming on my ear so i guess i kind of lucked out because i don't need like a huge diamond to go with my ears and i do prefer to put this earring on this side because for some reason it just looks a little bit different on this ear i do have to push it in like this once i put it on to make sure i mean like from the viewfinder i honestly can't tell if this looks right but that's what i usually do and as you can see i did go with pear shaped diamonds so they do have this earring in a bigger size and also just like a round um, diamonds but i think there's something more unique about the pear shaped ones it just makes more sense to me because it's kind of like a vertical earring you know so the pear shape kind of elongates the look and kind of makes this whole piece look like up and down like arrow let me actually take this out to show you guys it's kind of hard with my long nails but this is what they look like so this is what they look like from the side see how they're floating like this and it's like a curve at the back to connect the two and it's very easy to take the thing out because you just have to like press down like squeeze on the side and then it comes right off and now you have these two pieces and because they separate like this technically if you have like any other like the back stopper thing for any of your earrings you can just wear this piece on its own as a stud earring but i do like this together as a set and next i have two pieces from celine and you guys might be able to guess it is the bikini i know i feel like we're seeing leopard prints like everywhere especially like leopard print bikinis and this is honestly one of my favorites because of the print you can see that it's kind of like an ombre effect which i love it's not just like a plain leopard print there's some like dimension to it and the triumph logo is literally everywhere i told you guys i like a small logo the big gold triumph logo next to the baby triumph it's just so cute and all the straps like behind your back or even your neck there's all these mini baby triumph oh my god and i've noticed that with a lot of like designer um bikinis they do tend to have a bit more coverage when it comes to the bottom piece which i really appreciate because i'm not trying to be out there like showing my entire bottom to the entire world so as you can see the bottom this is size 34 guys and it covers quite a bit which i am so like thankful for like please <laughs> i i feel so uncomfortable with like those bikinis out there just like a regular bikini brands they like don't do anything so once again the mommy triumph in between the babies and i love how they came in this pouch it's kind of like a two-in-one you know you get this pouch and the bikini next i wanted to mention this candle you guys i think this has been my favorite candle as of late oh my god this is the one i initially wanted but they gave me the wrong one so i have to like go back and like change all that stuff the scent is called um i want to say papier frosé not sure what that means i remember looking it up but i completely forgot again this honestly smells more of a fall and winter scent but i do prefer that when it comes to like any home scents i just love that cozy like woodsy christmasy vibe and sometimes i really love celine because even though they are a designer like luxury brand they have so many items that kind of like um, ysl they offer quite a wide range of 
small luxuries like this candle for instance please don't quote me on this but i think this was around i want to say like 125 dollars or something which i don't think is too bad considering that it is from celine i mean a lot of byredo um diptyque candles can be like a hundred dollars with tax so considering that i don't think it's too bad and i think that's why it makes this such a wonderful gift as well and even without burning it it smells so so good but when you start burning this it smells exactly the same and that's what i love it also has a pretty good throw so you don't really have to burn this for too long and your entire space just smells like this and the second time i was burning this it hit me i think this smells pretty much identical to it's like one of um, Diptyque's holiday scents. I don't know if it was a new scent because they kind of like recycle their holiday scents. But last year they had um, this trio. It was a blue one, which is Neige, I think. It was a red one and then this green. I forget what the green was called, but this candle reminds me of that green one. I want to say they smell pretty much the same, but the green one was my favorite one so i don't have it anymore it's like completely out so i can't compare it now but i will report back maybe in like november or december when they like re-release it or if they do even though i've been buying more clothes than bags there is one bag i had to mention and this should not come as a surprise to you guys this is really up there in my favorite purchases of 2024 so far this is hermes kelly 25 epsom leather cellier style um gold hardware like what else it's like a whole resume with hermes bags this to me is a perfect bag i mean we don't even have to get into like the quality but this is a perfectly crafted bag this truly is a piece of art the color is just so beautiful the hardware just complements the color so much and the combination of Selly style and epsom leather i think is match made in heaven especially for kelly and the size also is so perfect for me like for my frame it's not overwhelming on my frame it's not too small so i think this is perfect for both day and night and she's beautiful like what more can i say i want to end the video with shoes and there's two pairs i want to share with you guys the first one i feel like i mentioned way too much so i'm gonna like run through them these are my chanel sneakers from when was it like spring summer i think i got them back in march i still love the patent leather red logo against the black and they still look really fresh right i mean i tried really hard to like keep them fresh because that's like a pet peeve of mine when it comes to like white sneakers this was another piece i saw online and just like instantly fell in love it was like love at first sight something that i knew i had to have and every time it clicks for me like that i know it's going to be a piece that i will love for a long time i do try to buy things that i love rather than like because those two are very different and every time i have a little bit of hesitation and it's just something that i like i always end up not reaching for them and when it comes to like luxury and more expensive purchases i definitely want to make sure that is something i love and these are definitely one of them and aside from like the design and the fact that they are like a chanel shoe these are one of the most comfortable shoes ever my arm was getting tired so i had to switch but these shoes i even wore them like over the weekend for like five hours and these are so so comfortable guys these are like better than my on shoes or any like tennis shoes so these are definitely one of the best purchases i've made this year and the other pair of shoes is my brunello sneakers there are times when i feel like i'm a little too logoed out it's like a chanel top like chanel sneakers chanel like bag and sometimes i just don't want to look like that and that is when these shoes come in handy if you know brunello these are <laughs> i think like the most brunello shoes ever but if you're not familiar with the brand and like their entire color scheme you wouldn't look twice at these shoes and that's what i love about them i feel like these shoes were very well thought out like every little inch of the shoe has something interesting a different texture this is shiny and more rough with like suede and the taupey color and even the shoelaces they kind of remind me of like sweatpants and i'm very picky especially when it comes to like converse looking shoes like this i hate just the plain white sole that really drives me nuts unless it was intentional i think just a regular white sole just kind of cheapens the look so i love that this is in like this dark gray like taupey color that ties everything together these shoes are so perfect for when i want to wear something like green more olivey tone more like bluish gray tones like oh, these are just so perfect so had to mention that so those are all my favorites that i want to share with you guys today i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you in my next video